Halloween. So, Dad, will you tell what she's going to do again? Okay, for our 35th wedding anniversary, Grammy memorized for me the family proclamation. And here was a commitment to live it. That's more Because she wasn't before. I mean, oh, wait. Okay, ready? We, the First Presidency and the Council of the Twelve Apostles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, solemnly proclaim that marriage between a man and a woman is ordained of God for the family of sinners and the Creator's plan for the eternal destiny of His children. All human beings, male and female, are created in the image of God. Each is a beloved spirit, son or daughter of heavenly parents. And as such, each has a divine nature and destiny. Gender is the individual, pre mortal, mortal, and eternal identity and purpose. In the pre mortal realm, spirit, sons, and daughters knew and worship God as their eternal father and accepted his plan by which his children could obtain a physical body and gain earthly experience to progress toward perfection and ultimately realize his or her divine destiny. It's okay. The divine plan of happiness en enables family relationships to be perpetuated beyond the grave. Sacred ordinances and covenants available in holy temples make it possible for individuals to return to the presence of God and for families to be united eternally. The first commandment that God gave to Adam and Eve pertained to their potential for parenthood as husband and wife. We declare that God's commandment for his children to multiply and replenish the earth remains in force. We further declare that the sacred powers of procreation be employed only between man and woman lawfully wedded as husband and wife. We declare the means by which mortal life is created to be divinely appointed. We affirm the sanctity of life and of its importance in God's eternal plan. Husbands and wives have a solemn responsibility to love and care for each other and for their children. Children are an heritage of the Lord. Fathers and mothers have the sacred duty to rear their children in love and righteousness, to provide for their physical and spiritual needs, to teach them to love and serve one another, to observe the commandments of God, and to be law-abiding citizens wherever they live. Husbands and wives, mothers and fathers, will be held accountable before God for the discharge of these obligations. The family is ordained of God. Marriage between man and woman is essential to his e eternal plan. Children are entitled to birth within the bonds of matrimony and to be reared by a father and a mother who honor mar marital vows with complete fidelity. Happiness in family life is most likely to be achieved when founded upon the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Successful marriages and families are established and maintained on principles of faith, prayer, repentance, forgiveness, respect, love, compassion, work, and wholesome recreational activities. We warn that Individuals who violate covenants of chastity will one or who abuse spouse or offspring or who fail to fulfill family responsibilities will one day stand accountable before God. Further, we warn that the disintegration of the family will bring upon individuals, communities, and nations the calamities foretold by ancient and modern prophets. We call upon citizens, responsible citizens and officers of government everywhere to promote those measures established to those measures to design 
designed to maintain, or let's see, designed to maintain and strengthen the family as the fundamental unit of society. You can tell which paragraph I did the other day. <laughs> I just want to draw your attention to the, what she said about happiness is founded upon principles. And she listed some principles. The prophets have told us. Faith. Remember, what are those principles? Prayer. Repentance. Repentance. Forgiveness. Respect, love, compassion, work, and wholesome recreation. We hope that you enjoy all of these blessings because we know the happiness in our lives for over 50 years that we've been alive on this earth comes through exactly what the prophets have said. And we hope to enjoy some of that together with you all today and hopefully for many, many years to come. Amen. Amen.